What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and I just want to start by saying I apologize if it's super loud in the background. The nieces and nephews are here, they're playing with my kids, it's a little bit chaotic right now. So I locked myself over here and I'm making a video to put out for you guys. Now obviously I haven't put out a lot of content, that's simply because of where I'm at and what I'm doing. Um, my family deserves my undivided attention while on vacation, so that's what we're doing. Um, I'll be back, or by the time this video drops I'll probably already be back drop in tons of videos like we normally do in the form of videos as well as shorts. But just wanted to ask you guys because I like talking to you guys. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while simply because I haven't been dropping a lot and usually I respond in the comments. But what is your favorite SHOT Show reveal so far? I'm going to tell you three of mine. You guys may hate on one, but that's fine. One is the Canic MC9. Looks like an absolute beast. It's the Micro 9 from Canic. I told you it was coming out. You can go look up the video. Two months ago, I said Canic's dropping a double stack Micro 9 to compete with all these other ones out there. And I said that'll be my first Canic. Even though I have the SC on layaway, I will be getting the MC9. I don't think it's available until March, but I think you can pre order now. But, anyways, I told you drop in first quarter, and it did. And it looks beautiful. So, all the people who have been in my comments saying get a Canic, get a Canic, get a Canic, I went on layaway and we'll be getting that one as well. Looks like an awesome, awesome firearm. Heard nothing from but great things so far, and it's a Canic. Two, you guys may not heard of it, but SAR is dropping their Micro 9. It looks awesome, sort of looks like a Hellcat, maybe a little thicker in some areas, but the thing looks beautiful, has awesome magazine compatibility like all these Micro 9s, and you know me, I love some cob packs, so that's just a big thing for me. So check that out, the SAR Micro 9, and both the Canic and SAR are priced perfect. I mean, they're not the cheapest, I mean the Shield Plus is cheaper and so on, but they're a little more expensive than Shield Plus being 430 or 450 somewhere in that price range. The last one you guys are going to hate on, that's for sure, but the Glock Performance Trigger. You guys are going to say, oh it should come stock in the firearm already with that. Well some people like Glock stock triggers, they feel a sense of comfort and reliability and just if they have a lot of Glocks they like shooting the same trigger and over and over again. Like I said I did, one is on the way, but... I think they're going to be throwing them in the new firearms they come out with. Now, they haven't released or said fully what models, sorry, um, what models they're going to be putting it in, but I like to see Glock step it up. Now, everyone's going to say, oh, they should have done it 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Well, Glock's like a number one selling firearm without that. And they do, they keep what works. If it's bro not broke, don't fix it. And that's what they do reliability and simplicity. And that's what they give you. Now, all it says is that Glock is trying to go out there and perform and compete. It says that because of all the comments they get about their trigger being spongy and the SIG trigger, they're saying, hey, we can do what you do, and we might be even able to do it better. So I like the response from Glock, and all competitions, good competition, all new creations aren't always good new creations, I will say that. Not everything that's new is always good. We've seen that over and over again, time and time again. Something that you don't see from Glock though, you know why? Because they don't change up a lot. They only change up what needs to be changed up, what their customers are saying, but not taking it too far. I like the fact that the trigger is similar to other triggers that we know work, like the one I just threw in my Glock 26, the Timmy Alpha trigger. It functions a similar way, so we know it's a reliable setup. And if that trigger keeps Glock's uh, reliability that they already have and are known for, then I'm all for it. And if they start dropping it on the Gen 5s and so on, that's a pretty sweet deal. Hopefully they don't upcharge you a ton, but you know people would pay the you know fifty dollars more to have that trigger, or whatever. But it's just something coming from Glock that we like to see, which is innovation. And a lot of people um, get on Glock for not having a lot of innovation and a lot of having a lot of new stuff. But you won't hear that from me because I'm happy. I'm fine carrying a Glock 26 all stock, and I do carry a Glock 26 all stock all the time. So um, what you guys will be seeing in this next 26 build, it's all stock. Except for a new slide that's optic ready. Awesome build for you guys. But anyways, those are my top three that just came out that I like and enjoy so far. Drop in the comments your top three. Hit that like button. Thanks.